For 200 years, from the 1630s to the 1850s, Japan had a strictly isolationist policy in place that highly limited contact and trade with foreign nations. However, this policy came under challenge in the early 1800s. In 1844, King William II sent a letter to Japan strongly urging them to open to the world, and American whaling ships became more common off of the coast of Japan around that time. In May 1851, American Secretary of State Daniel Webster decided to send a contingent to Japan with shipwrecked Japanese sailors as a show of goodwill. Commodore Matthew Perry, a veteran of the War of 1812 and the Mexican-American War, was selected to lead the expedition. Perry left Virginia on November 24, 1852, with a fleet of seven ships, including four paddle-wheeled steamboats. Perry first arrived at the Ryukyu Islands on May 17, 1853. He stayed for nine days while balancing diplomacy and a show of military strength, and left with the promise that the islands would be completely open to trade with the United States. Perry then sailed into Tokyo Bay, which was called Ido Bay at the time, and ordered his ships to point their guns at a nearby village as a threat. After several displays of force, Perry was finally able to land along Tokyo Bay on July 14th and delivered a letter from U.S. President Millard Fillmore to the Japanese government. He then left for the Chinese coast on July 17th and promised to return to see what response the Japanese authorities would give. Reactions among the Japanese leaders was mixed, with about half in favor of accepting the American demands and the rest opposed. However, almost all agreed that coastal defenses near Tokyo had to be increased in case of an American attack, which led to the construction of fortifications in Tokyo Bay. Perry returned on February 13, 1854, with 10 ships. By this point, the Japanese leaders had decided to accept almost all of the demands in President Fillmore's letter. Perry landed on March 8th, and after three weeks of negotiation, signed the Convention of Kanagawa. This treaty opened up two ports to American trade and established an American consulate office in Japan. It also sparked the signing of similar treaties between Japan and other Western powers. Perry returned to the United States in 1855, was given a $20,000 reward by Congress, and was promoted to the rank of Rear Admiral.